So as everyone knows, the at, at, me, Atlantean City was, was released today, and with it came this Lumion Boonary. So, basically, with Boonary, you may, you may think, what's so special about it? Well, it's ability two-faced. You, you can copy whatever Lumion is sent out. So, for example, the person sent out its Eclipse. Now, with my Boonary, as you see, it... So this, so this is an SA to clips. Yes, so now I will turn to a carbon copy of it. And I got its ability. I also got its moves. So now I'm wondering, could, does this thing copy the TPs? I don't know. I don't, I don't know because it shows the boonary. I'm assuming it does copy the ability, but I find it cool how it just copies everything. And yeah, so it literally copies everything on the Lumion. So, so this thing is probably super, super overpowered. This is bas basically, so my theory is pretty much correct. Um, you can see because it did the exact same amount of damage when we use the same move, I think. Or something like that. I don't know. But still, like. So like we used the look, we're using the same moves. We have the same amount of energy, pretty much. We have the same ability and everything. So this leads me to think that this Lumion is gonna be super overpowered in the PvP scene. I don't think you would have to really TP train this Lumion with anything because I think. It'll get the exact, I'm pretty sure it gets the exact same ability, or personality, and everything. It gets the same moves, which means it'll probably get the same, uh, it gets the same ability, gets the same moves, so I'm assuming it gets the same UPs and TPs, so then why wouldn't it get the same ability, or personality, sorry. So, this proves that this Lumion is pretty much overpowered. And when fighting it, you should definitely find a, uh, should definitely find a counter for this thing. So, if anything, I would, if anything, uh, so if you were put up against a Boonary, you would probably want to start off with a Lumion that is weaker on your team. So now just, just just look at the stuff in the background that I'm playing because I'm just going to be talking now. So, basically, especially with Boonary, you'd probably want to... So, for the, so the strategy for defeating Boonary is, so, obviously, send out a Lumion that is weaker or something that you have a thing to. So, let's say... Let's say you sent out a Hunter and then the person that boonary and then the boonary copied your hunter well you think oh well what am i going to do here what you could do here is switch out into a lumion that could that could easily defeat your hunt a hunter so if you had for example a protagon or protagon or zulong you could use one of your electric moves and then you can finish it off, which then gets, which then eliminates the threat. Or, let's say you had a resilient subsidiaron like I have right here. These things can be tough to take down. So, here's another scenario. So, so if somebody had a boon area and you sent out your resilient subsidiaron, then they they then they copy your subsidiaron's ability and everything. So. You would think, oh, well, what am I going to do here? In this case, you would switch out into a Lumion, like Falkyrie. This person showed how Falkyrie can pretty much one-shot it. This is a PvP trained for the record. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, that's basically how you, how you could counter uh, Boonary. Now, if you wanted to use Boonary, for example, um, you would probably want to use my strategy for countering it, but in reverse. So, 
you would probably you probably would not want to lead off with a boonary if i were you i just wouldn't lead off with a boonary it's because when someone sees they have a boonary in your team they're going to automatically predict that you're going to send it out first so which makes them think i just send out my worst lumian first which in this case wouldn't be which in, case, which in this case would be good for your team because then they'll have their because then their boonie or, sorry boonary will not be a threat so basically that's that that's how you can use it and then you can use it to your advantage i don't know what i said but anyway so basically so just to recap i guess for if you want to counter boonary send out a weak lumian first because you know they are that they're probably going to just send out their boonary right off the bat and then have a counter for that lumian but if you wanted to use a boonary my strategy for countering up in reverse don't use boonary in your first slot because then you will be wasting your opportunity for Boonary to come out into something strong. Like Resilience of Citragon, for example. If you wanted to use that. Anyway, that's basically the video. Um, yeah, I'll see everybody in the next video. See everybody.